Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back once more to NO1800 Mega City Edition. Boy, it is a glorious day in Crown Falls today, isn't it? As a procession takes place right now, people are so happy that they want to celebrate. And we have the commemoration day right now, affects the whole island with festival attractiveness. That leads us right now to a, a very pleasant capital right now. Also, it leads to plus 10 happiness and plus 15 workforce. Also, all weapon production chains have 300% productivity boost right now. That's something I really, really like a lot. Because with that, we're producing 24 tons of weapons right now per minute. Thanks to this boost there right now. Problem, of course, is, yeah, we don't have any steel then anymore. Because you can't just produce weapons out of thin air. For every ton of weapon, you need some steel. And uh, we don't have endless supply of that. Now, what we have as of the last episode is a sexy engineers and in this case here those guys of course have new needs uh, we have now the spectacles we have the coffee light bulbs and electricity and on top of that rum that is now finally coming in also penny farthings pocket watches the bank the subway system uh, we are having harps and saxophones as musical instruments here now in that case um also what we have with those guys is a new building material and that's the reinforced concrete so the first thing you should always do when you uh, lock a new unlock a new population tier is work on their respective construction materials because you're going to need a lot of that we have two limestone deposits once again i think it was more than that in the past i'm not entirely sure right now um and in that case let's just uh, unlock them probably both for us right now why not we're looking very good on the balance there right now so let's start with a, a decent production for this right off the bat we're going to need some workers for both of these limestone deposits and in that case there it is starting to work now this magic for us the other thing that we need here is steel now once again steel is already pretty tight for us let's just check it out where we still have some iron deposits left there's coal there is a what a full iron deposit already we're pretty full on coal and iron as it is am i overlooking something here what is going on this is also because of the productivity all weapon production chain all right it seems like the iron mine and coal mine because they're in the chain of the weapon productions right they're also boosted with that now this is super interesting that's something i have never realized yet there it is right so they're in the weapon chain i guess and that's why they're getting boosted by 300%. And it leads to a processing time of only 3 seconds for 1 ton of iron ore. That's pretty incredible. That's a lot. But of course, it's also a lot for my storage. Um, let's just let's just profit from this. Try to profit from this and build me some more storage departments here. Right, with that we can store a bit more. All the way up to 980 tons. It's of course not going to last forever. Still, we should use this. Let's build two more furnaces down here as well. And by the way, let's also um, yeah, build us some roads here as well. Some proper streets as an upgrade that we want to have for all of these. And on top of all of that, let's also introduce now the reinforced concrete. Because that's the latest addition now right so we have the steel we have the limestone quarries now we need the concrete factory and we are going to need four of them if i want to use both of my limestone factories with it um yeah four that's not a lot but it'll have to do it's low pollution uh, can we squeeze it in here mm, doesn't look good i might as well also just have them here for now or yeah, this area i mean it's just four of them right so it's something by the way i think that's it then right because we can boost them with electricity that would lead them to eight tons of reinforced concrete per minute that's already quite a lot so i think for now i might actually just get them up here for me one two three and four right and they're also going to get their warehouse then right away just so that we can work with that and you know what let's actually build them i mean they're super expensive i'm actually also running out of steel beams here let's in fact hmm should we get more steel beams we're only sitting at eight tons so far yeah, let's actually boost them by 50%. I can, by the way, stop with it for the bricks, but the bricks do not affect the happiness here. 
um, as the weapons do, for example. Let's actually stop the boost for the weapon factories. And let's go ahead and... I mean, there's the train tracks here. I definitely don't want to overdo it. And I also... I can't squeeze it in here really in, a, in an efficient manner. So let's actually just stay with it and upgrade my... Holy cow, yeah, my, my warehouses, of course. They're a bit overloaded right now because those weapons... <laughs> they're producing at 436% right now. And that needs a 22... Um, every or a ton of weapon every 22 seconds completely overwhelming here in my warehouses but it's only for one more minute over here in the meantime we do have some planks again that i would like to to finally consume and we are going in and we are going to wait a second let's use this one right and we are going to build me some more buildings here now there is the train track then was it the train track yeah that's the train track that goes up so we can actually build them here just beside it right and then we're going to have some more high density blocks here all the way up to the north here the reason for that is that this is going to be a bigger street anyway again because right up here of course we want to use something big then as well so let's just go ahead and make this a triple road i'm not going to make this a an avenue anymore but rather just a big road right that leads then up here probably at four roads goes then down to three roads and then um, into into this area there. I think this would work the best for me right now. And then we just have those roads here. And probably, probably also another bigger block that we should be able to squeeze in here. Just fine. Hmm, question is... No, not happy with that. I could also go ahead once again with something like this. And then here, either we go with a block. Yeah, let's go with a big block again. We can just so easily squeeze it in there that's fine this is the road uh, the, the, the the train network right so just across it here we can have a few more buildings right beside it brownfall wants to grow and it's using every square inch that it can find right here and of course we can then also have a few more blocks here smaller blocks and these guys here of course also like to have something and this once again is going to be my avenue going all the way down then here very good now there's also a huge advantage to that festival that is, has unfortunately ended now and that is we're stuffed with weapons so i would like to get around 400 tons of weapons together with 200 actually we need to make it equal kind of like um and bricks and get all of this over once again to the new world so this will be a very valuable convoy so let's actually escort it with two royal warships there as well off they go and we still have enough weapons though i don't have the improved version so let's just go ahead and build me the normal version then as well and we're actually out of timber then that's a nice surprise looking at the rum production and consumption we're looking at a two ton surplus only right now so i would like to go ahead and boost my rums further in quilming uh, let's go ahead and build me some two more rum distilleries over there we're going to have one and two more sugarcane plantations and i would also like to have another lumberjack here yeah still quite fine with my workforce so far oh 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 we are going to need a lot more i mean once it's capped, it's going to equal out, right? But or even out. But I mean, these are dirt cheap, so it'll it's fine to just build them as well. Here and also another warehouse then for that. Of course, also we shan't be idle. On the morning of a new day, uh, my fleet finally gets into strictness here again. We want to take this back and probably also then reinforce it immediately because this is one of the more important islands that we have here in the new world. And I definitely want to take care of this as well. Um, this one still belongs to us. This has the Kauchuk actually. And what I can Your also see is that Kauchuk is just also is super, super rare, right? So we might also just keep this island no. then to us. There you go. Now, I could wait in this harbor area now for her to arrive because she's definitely sending the ship over, but I'm not doing that. I don't want to risk my... I don't want to risk anything here really for me, right? Let's head back to the old world where, yep, my convoy has left. No, there it is. 
and we're going now for Widow Magnor again, together with my two ships that we have already in this area too. By the way, let's unload the bricks, and uh, for the repair crane, I will need a bit more. That's okay. Steel beams is still a bit low. No, nope, let's actually go in and build me another factory here. And I might push... I mean, we have so many weapons. Let's actually just store it and build me another steel beam factory here for now. Well, we can. A lot of things we need to check right now because we're growing rather quickly in Crown Falls right now. The same applies also for my sewing machines. So I will need to have at least two more sewing machine factories. This is all very expensive. Let's build three, actually. And... Probably, probably also work then on my first trade union item here. Now, there is her fleet. Uh, she didn't send that many ships, right? Uh, at least they're scattered a bit. So we could take this as a chance here and just destroy a few of her ships to buy us more time again. And why not do it now and just get in there into the thick of it? We might lose a normal ship there, but that's okay. And yeah, I'm just surprised once again how much damage her ships do. Look at that. We're barely taking damage. I will actually need to pull out here if I don't want to lose too many ships. I always kind of like underestimate the power of the modded versions. Yeah, nah. Let's, let's take them down. Even if I lose a few ships. We're sending more royal ships over to normal ship of the lines. Uh, ships of the line don't apply anymore to me anyway. Very good. Let's just see what we get here. Did it affect the military score in any way? Eh, not really. Alright, and let's get those ships back to Manola for some repairing. Actually, wait a second. Here we have to repair. We don't need to get to Manola. Manola is safe and sound. She's taking this island again. That's okay. That was a buffer island that we took to annoy her. Sell Propaganda quest. I'm not going to accept this. Now on to a new problem or a new thing that I would like to do. A new project that I would like to do. And that is the harbor area of Crown Falls. It is time to work on the Docklands. I've neglected it for quite a while. And yeah, at some point you just need to push for it. Um, the first thing that we want to do is I'm going to move my fisheries over now here. Right, together with that warehouse. We're going to have a new key that goes then all the way down. Mm, let's just see how we can combine them. It should be possible, actually, if we move it like that. Like that. Unfortunately, this is not possible. This is possible. And then we can hopefully squeeze them in here like that. Fantastic. And also more on that side. Right. Oh, let's also immediately purchase back a share there again. We don't want to neglect that. And since we have a bit of money, I might also consider another share purchase here on the main island of Misant right now. Though she has several main islands at this point by the look of it. But that's okay. By the way, another thing. What is her warships doing at Crown Falls right now? What are they doing here? Build me some Tomb of Flamethrowers. I mean, they're expensive. Is she actually attacking? No, I think we're good. Or she's moving towards... Yeah, she's moving towards Foxglove. All right, no props. If we lose that island, we just take it back. It's not very important to us right now. That was an interesting approach on the island, though. By the look of it. All right, she doesn't have a lot of islands right now in Cape Trelawney. So, of course, she's trying to be a bit aggressive. Taking this doesn't change anything. There is the main fleet moving a bit further into the center so we can quickly react in the future. All right. Let's continue. Um, we can get rid of the, the fish fisheries here now. So they're all then in this area. And they're all, of course, connected here with one big warehouse that we're upgrading two times right away. Because that's a lot of fish. All right. And then there's the oil harbor coming in. Another thing we can move now, and yes, that's right, we're moving the main harbor building, right? Our foundation 
our absolute beginning of what we started out with. And I'm actually going to move it. I'm inclined to actually move it to my tourism area or we just also squeeze it into my other area here, right? So we could have this one here. Let's actually immediately make the connection again. Otherwise, we're having a problem. <laughs> it's always a very risky thing to move this building, right? Because it's such a, a vital role. Um, and then I'm going to then I'm going to move my two shipyards. And the cool thing is we can actually move them over here, both of them. They don't need to be on the shore directly, right? We can just have a connection here with them. Ship under attack. Attention to the Admiral. This is actually more of a problem to me right now ship because that's my pepper. So let's move my ships over. That was close, but that's why you need to have those ships close by. Holy cow, she wanted to take Maynard there in a little surprise attack. We will need to defend this one here too, of course, uh, with building materials and weapons. She's not going away with that so easily, so we are at least destroying two of her ships there. That's what she deserved, and this island we could not afford to lose. Let's get the repair crane over here a bit, because here's the trading port right now. So this is where ships are coming in, so it makes sense to me um, to, to put this up, right? And then we have all our defenses. I'm actually going to move them a bit further outside now. There you go. And with that, we have this whole space open all of a sudden. And here, of course, comes in the permanent building now, and that is the big one. This is the Docklands, a modular harbor area that we can then extend and expand over time. And it all starts with the Docklands main wharf. And let's just see how we can easily squeeze it in here then somewhere. Doesn't need to be directly at the rope, by the way, this one is annoying a bit. There you go. And with that, Docklands officially open. Um, let's just make them a proper connection. somewhere over here and i would probably then also like to start ex oh, well actually expanding it right away with our export offices we have we can easily afford them let's just start with the first two then somewhere over here oh the second one actually we cannot because of the bricks but we have three tons missing by the way there's more ships now over here of miss hunt I will actually also now, do we have another, I don't have a, a free clipper, is that right? No, let's actually build me also some royal clippers, a bunch of them. Because I need to deliver some weapons over here to Maynard now, that's super important. This is my pepper and beef island, we certainly don't want to lose this. Right, let's build the second export office, and with that we can finally also start now our export business. That's super important. And actually, it's a bit too late that we started this already, right? So we should have started earlier. But that's okay, because we have all the time in the world. And once again, yeah, we should start with something that we have in high volume, right? To unlock us a few more expert offices down the road. Um, so I usually like to go with something like fish or potatoes, because you can get them in very high quantities. And let's just check out how my production for these are right now. So for fish, for example, we have a surplus of 18. That's quite a bit. Um, that we can use here and we can further easily boost this oh come on just give me a bit of peace thank you very much it's just a ship passing by so it's going to be fish as my first export good right that we want to level up so if you're new to the docklands right we can use these goods here now to export and import new goods and we're going to level them up depending on the volume that we export and the higher the level the more bonuses we get out of this item and also the more modules we unlock for the docklands in that case we want to have a high volume might be actually grain that i'm importing yeah let's add input grain it's all it's all about the volume right let's say 500 tons we could even say just a thousand tons get rid of me What is the rum trader doing so far here? Let's actually push him further over here. 
so that it doesn't get in the way there of, of Miss Hunt's island. And why are you turning around now? What the hell? What is this? Now it's working, all right? Now just please continue on your journey, even though Ship under attack. you might go down now too. A lot of smaller attacks everywhere. Shaun of a Toon, the ceasefire is gone again with him. I'm not going to go into a new ceasefire. Why is my ship turning around? This is irrational behavior on the captain's side. Let's try to destroy a, a pirate ship there, because then we might trigger the ceasefire again. Also, my convoy with the weapons has arrived. Let's get this over here to Quilming and then further over to Strickness. This is the pirate. This is also the pirate. Let's just try and get somewhere over here. She's rather passive right now in the new world. No attacks so far. So I might as well just focus a bit on pirate hunting. actually take those two ships in here now as well and the pirate already has some monitors so steamships but they're not doing any damage right they're just really there to scout and we have also the first rides in Maynard I do have the resources though to build me a police station to get rid of that problem and another thing is we have finished another tutorial warships let's get them down and immediately build the royal clippers again okay. there's still a situation here because Ron might retaliate my weapons safe and sound over here right now really we cannot risk that ship All right so that's the the most important thing right now with all those weapons on board Ah, for a second I thought we had the white flag. Just a very similar symbol. Stations. And let's just get this ship over now here and then Strickness. Because the white flag over there is running out soon. Let's actually escort it with three smaller ships of the line. While the main fleet stays behind a bit further over here. And I would probably also like to send a few more heavy ships to the new world. So those five royal warships, let's also send them now over to Widow Magna. Just as the reinforcements are coming in, right? We're not making this that much weaker, but we need to reinforce the new world. All right, so this is working, right? So we get the fish now. Next in line for volume, we probably would like to go with logs and... Yeah, I probably would like to start with my soap trading then as well. So I can actually start had the logs for the volume once again. And the soap then as an export good that we can use long term wise. And once again, let's just go in and use the, the grain probably. As something that we can start here with, right? So that's 500 volume. And for the soap, I'm actually having no idea what we do with the soap right now. Because there's not anything powerful that we've unlocked so far, right? Most of the things are locked still. I might actually just go with that green is too much. I think schnapps might be something. Why not? Right. We can actually start with a, a decent volume here um, to get the soap industry going as well. Now, of course, we need to boost all of this, what we are exporting. It's the fish and it's the logs. For the logs, we have the warehouse over there. Give me a few more lumberjacks out. Are we boosting them by any chance? Yeah, let's go all the way up to 50% for these. And for the fish, it's the same thing. We have the fisheries here. Build me a few more fisheries. We want to keep that volume up. Right? And I'm not boosting them really. Because for fish, it's a bit of unhappiness. Wait a second. Yeah, I mean, 14% we can go without getting any discontent out of it. And this leads to a comfortable surplus here now of 20 almost. 
which is then fine. For the soap, however, we, we do have enough pigs. It's all about the processing. So processing of those pigs, another rendering work, and another soap factory here, right? Oh, the mod is actually pretty high. We do need more rendering works. And still squeeze another one in here and another one in here. This, of course, will lead to an increased consumption of pigs once again. So let's also go in and, yeah, here in my farmer district, safe and sound, we can have some six more. I'm not boosting them yet, nor will I ever boost them, most likely. This also give me a few more warehouses there. Fine, fine, fine. So that this is rolling, right? The where the docklands also count as a, a landing here, so the ships can dock there, and they can also dock now over there as well. By the way, there's my large fisheries working still. Um, let's keep them there for now. Very good. Also, my royal clipper is finished. Let's get the timber. Let's get the bricks, steel beams, and weapons. We have so many weapons right now, it feels amazing. Get them down here, because then we can have four flamethrowers for uh, this area. That will be enough for Maynard for a while. And then we might also do the same thing for Asterix. So let's get the second Royal Clipper that we just finished and do the same thing. And let's also build me some more Royal Clippers. We still have some good weapon reserves out of the festival. If only, if only we could get it again. Just get all of this up here to Asterix as well. Yes, new world wise, my ships have arrived. Still would need then some more planks. We should have that ship available over here. Get this also here to strictness. Now, oh, what's a pirate doing over here? Who's from pirate hunting? I mean, he lets. He's under attack. He, he, he realizes that, right? <laughs> I guess not. Come on, take it down, please. Oh, really? We were not able to destroy that single frigate there. Perhaps they attack right now on Kulmi. That would be amazing. There is my, my planks. Let's also go in and finally, finally add me some flamethrowers here now to strictness. Four of them, fantastic. Could go with even more since this is just an important island let's go with five right now this will be fine now we have also reinforced quilming and i really really should also reinforce this island here so let's get all the weapons that we have and all the materials let's get them over reinforce this one And with that, slowly but steadily, we secure the new world for us. Really, I would like to take down a pirate ship here or there to trigger that ceasefire because that could really help us for the trade routes. Securing those small islands is super important too, but it's just very costly, so that's that. Where is it going? I still don't realize what the captain of Ponus is thinking right now. It's doing the whole empty right now. Is it going back to the old world? Yeah, it's probably getting destroyed now too. There's really nothing we can do about this. The captain seems to be stuck. Um, let's go ahead and build me some more royal clippers. We can build plenty of them at this point. challenge and over here also finally finally the next fortifications four more flamethrowers powerful very very powerful and we still have 50 tons of weapons left that we can use for something else let's get that to manola to probably fortify this or at least get one of these islands here in that would also be helpful Right, Sean. I mean, we're way stronger than Sean, obviously. There's a chance for peace treaty, is that right? Let's try it out. Ah, we've also upgraded one of my goods. 36,000 only. He actually goes for a ceasefire. 
Uh, with a peace treaty. It's not even that, right? We have a peace treaty with the pirate. That's fantastic. He's going to leave us alone for a long time now. Uh, we've also unlocked probably the fish now. There it is. As a new resource. Let's actually turn it down to 500. With that, we have unlocked another export office, right? And the exchange rate for fish has gone up. For logs, it'll happen the next turn, right? So then we have this. Let's actually go with 120. Grain is fine. And the pigs is also still absolutely fine. So we've also exported a bit now. Perfect. So this is starting to roll. And also we have a very nice surplus now on the soap. On everything basically. So we could push for another city expansion now. And I think we will do this. Right. So we have this district there. This district. Then we are actually going into the farm area already. So for my next push. Probably here. So we have the trains. So this area is still available for me. And yep. I'm definitely going to add me some more blocks here. A competitor raised a settlement. We don't really need this road there. Just can have my blocks here. This is going down to the train tracks. And then we have something here again. And here. I mean there's the mine. The copper mine. But for that we can have then a warehouse here somewhere. Doesn't matter. They are very close then to that mine. But that's okay. And here I would also like to have then more buildings. Because farmers is something we can actually push a lot right now. We have the planks, we have the production. We don't have the space necessarily anymore everywhere to do this, right? There is space that we can use. Hmm, what's going on with my main road here? That's the triple road. That's the airport area. And beside that, we might actually do a museum. Still need to think about that too. A museum beside the airport makes sense. The museum of aviation. <laughs> let's just, let's not build too many houses here for now. Um, and this whole block we also have available. This would actually be a hotel district. And I also want to see that this is looking nice, right? So, it, I mean, this is not looking very nice right now, layout-wise. If I want to make a tourism district there, we need to keep a bit of a bit of a distance. That's that. That's a few more farmers again, and we're actually running out of workers. So let's also go ahead and upgrade farmers to workers. We can do this here. Whole bunch here. Uh, these guys here. Yep. These guys probably lack the market access. Where's the next market? This one. Go ahead and continue with the upgrading of the roads here and here. This should lead to total coverage. Perfect. It does. So we'll be able to upgrade them shortly. Oh, what? Sean? We just had a peace treaty. 150,000 again. All right. Um, these guys here probably want another access. There you go. They want to upgrade now. We should do this. And these guys here. We have way too many farmers. Skews your economy a bit. Perfect. And these guys here too. Just there. We gotta make sure that we really catch most of them then in the same service area. Alright, so that we don't build too many service buildings for nothing. There's a bunch more here. And here we could actually also go ahead and upgrade those roads right away. Very good. And then we have a bunch of workers that we might also upgrade to artisans. Especially here in the city center. We could go ahead with this. 
here, here, and here. Right, to also extend their reach and these guys there. Two more warships leaving the docks. Let's get them down here. White flag is over, so we may as well just take this one now. There's also my weapons for Maynard. Get those ships over, attack, take it over again, and let's reinforce Maynard there for us with the flamethrowers. In that case, three at least, four the best. Perfect. That's a nice defense here now too. I was looking on my military score with all of that. Close to 400. Let's continue to flatter Sean here and his beautiful eyes. So that his price for future demands goes down. There's the attack. Could be a quick one. If you lose the frigate, I'm not too sad about that, but we're not. Alright, there you go. And by the way, didn't we loot some ships there? Mm, nothing of value. A bit of coffee we got last time, but that's about it. Get those ships actually here to my fortifications. Get my clipper back to Crown Falls. And what I've seen also is we're going to need to reinforce my fur coat production a bit. So let's put me another fur dealer here. Some beautiful buildings. How is it looking with my cotton fabric? We still have way too much of that anyway, right? And with that, we have now a slightly positive production again. So, so far so good. The industry is looking fine. The population is looking fine. And we may as well just work now on the next industry. Then, by the way, we totally did not build those reinforced concrete. Let's build all four. Get them going. And the reinforced concrete production is up and running now too. And with that, my next building material number five. That we can finally work for us now. So, for so good. Hope you enjoyed this one. Stay tuned.